and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. demonstrate. Now, first, I'll put on this blindfold. Now, if, if you'd each walk around the room. Even with this blindfold on, this disc can tell me exactly where you are. Can you tell where I am now, man-at-arms? be a problem here. Uh, uh, just a minute, please. Something's wrong. The, the, the machine says there are seven people in this room. Well, machines never lie. What? Oh, <laughs> you had me fooled for a moment. <laughs> it's the view screen. Good morning, Randor. Boreas, how nice to see you. We have just perfected a new kind of energy crystal, ten times more powerful than any other crystal Sunitania. Congratulations. I'd like your kingdom to be the first to use them. We'd be glad to. Thank you, Boreas. You can send someone up right away. Who was that? That Orko was my good friend Boreas. He rules an ice kingdom called Morania. Now, who should I send for the crystals? Well, I'll be glad to go. Adam would be a good choice for this assignment. You will be careful, won't you, Adam? Oh, don't worry, Mother. You know, my, my winter fur hasn't gr grown in yet. Maybe I better just stay here. You're going to, Cringer. You need the exercise. I'll go with you. Maybe I'll have a chance to exercise my magic. This is my idea of a winter vacation. Don't worry, Cringer. Can't be much further. <laughs> Looks like you're going to have a little unexpected detour, Adam. The guidance system's frozen, and I can't see a thing through this windshield. Oh, <laughs> You can come out now, Cringer. We can't fall any further. Uh. Can we go home now? No, Cringer. First, we have to find out where we are, then we have to pick up the energy crystals. I knew you were going to say that. What is it, Cringer? I, I, I think there's somebody else down here besides us. Well, they're just snowmobile tracks, Cringer. They probably came from Morania. I sure hope so. By the power of Grayskull.
can't keep him busy. Passing on his home territory. Yeah, well, maybe he'll go down by the time he gets out of there. Now we can follow those snowmobile tracks to Morania. Let's go. It's cold up here. Really cold. <laughs> yes, boss. Can you turn up the heat? Quiet. I'm trying to think. Uh, can't you think when you're warm? Quiet! I don't think we'll ever get there. Sure we will, Cringer. We can't give up now. We made it! We made it! More rain is right outside! Oh, thank goodness. Gee, it's, it's, it's kind of pretty, isn't it? I, I've never seen anything like it. Come on, let's go see it close up. Welcome, Prince Adam. This is my son, Prince Esker. How do you do? Oh, and here comes my daughter, Princess Janice. Hello. Well, nice to meet you, Janice. So, come with me and I will show you where we grow the crystals. I noticed you had some trouble with your snow track. You did? I saw it when I came back through the ice tunnel. You should be careful out there, Janice. There's an ice monster in that cave. Oh, I know. But I zipped through so fast, he never bothers me. Oh, I liked the way you boxed him up. This little one has enough power to light your castle for a whole year. Oh, maybe even two. How would you know? Your sister seems to know about a lot of things, Esker. Yes, for a girl. <laughs> Your snow track will be fixed tomorrow, Adam. Why don't you go out and try our skiing? Can I go? You should stay here. You might get hurt. I can take care of myself, Fesco. What about your broken arm last year? That was an accident. I was trying out some new skis. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> So, do you think you could talk to them, Dad? Sure, son. I'll take care of it. Who are you two? Run for help, Esker! <laughs> I've fought a lot tougher people than you two. <laughs> you think so? feeling tired and sleepy. You would like to stop all this and go home. Yeah, hey, Beast Man, let's go home. <sighs> Good idea, Trapjaw. I'm hungry. So you think you can control my men, do you? Clever, but not clever enough for this. Skeletor. I had a feeling you were behind this. Not so fast, my royal enemy. <laughs> you just hypnotized yourself, Boreas. Now you will do whatever I tell you to. Yes, Skeletor. First, we'll put you away in a nice, cozy place. We've searched the castle, Your Highness. The king has vanished. 
What shall we do next? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe look outside. If I could make a suggestion, Your Highness. Not now, Chancellor. I'm trying to think of what to do. <laughs> What's the matter? Lost your king? What have you done with my father? Here, see for yourself. <gasps> your father is a little tied up right now. <laughs> You release him at once! I'll be glad to release your father. Just as soon as I get the energy crystals and the formula to make them. Never! If you had those crystals, you could control all of Eternia. You're very clever, Chancellor. Perhaps you can work for me someday. Well, you've heard my demand. I'll be back in half an hour to collect the crystals. An idea. Not now, Janice. Can't you see I'm busy? But, Eska, I... I said not now! That's Princess Janice. Something must be wrong. We better hurry. By the power of Grey Sky. Bait. E Man! I wanted to cut you down to size for years, and right now looks like the perfect opportunity. Let's see how much you know about my kind of fighting. Uh -oh. We're in sort of a rush, Swamp Breath. Maybe we could play this game later. Now, He Man! All right, if you say so. such a rush, Janice. Skeletor's holding my father prisoner. Your father? Prisoner? He wants to trade him for the energy crystals. We must find out where he's being held. I already know. When I looked into Skeletor's crystal ball, I recognized the room where my father was tied up. But I couldn't get anyone to listen to me back at the palace. Well, I'm listening. Let's go find your father. The cave's just around the corner. What's your plan? You want to hear my ideas? Yes. I've got a hunch you have some pretty good ones now and then. I do, but no one ever takes them seriously. We take you seriously, Janice. Oh, thank you. Well, the cave is an abandoned mine. We used to get the old kind of energy crystals from it years ago. It has three entrances. The main one is just around the corner. There's a real small one here. How small, Janice? Just about your size, Orko. He-Man, maybe Orko could go in the smallest entrance. That sounds like a good idea. Which room do you think your father's in? One of these, right next to the Cave of Mirrors. Oh, who turned out the lights? Oh, I must have something in my hat for this kind of situation. This might work. Uh, I guess I'd better get started.
This must be the main entrance. Well, this place is ready to fall apart. I hope Skeletor isn't expecting company. <laughs> but I am expecting company, He-Man. And this time I've got you just when I want you. <laughs> Let's see how you like my little surprise party. Janice. I think so. Where's Orko? Maybe he got away. A trap door wouldn't catch Orko. I hope you're right. Now let's figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> Don't worry about that, He-Man. I've made arrangements for you to swim home. Keep Battle Cat company. I'm going to break us out of here. Now let's go find your father. Father, are you all right? Janice, Janice, you must leave immediately. Father, we can't leave you. You must. There's no way you can reach me. This must be the longest tunnel I've ever been in. Wait a minute. What's that? Orko. Hi, everybody. Well, what took you so long? We've had a little detour. Now we've got to figure out how to rescue King Boreas. That won't be easy. I've got it. What's your idea, Janice? We'll need everybody's help to do this, but I think it might work. First, Orko will fly across the chasm with this rope and tie it to the ladder. I'll get started right away. Then, Battle Cat will carry He-Man down the ice slope to the edge of the chasm. But how will Battle Cat keep from slipping on the ice? He can climb down backward. His claws will hold him like little ice picks. Mm, good idea. Then Orko can break the other end of the rope to you, He-Man, and you can tie it around Battle Cat's saddle. And then I'll climb across the rope. Yes! Now that's what I call a plan. Good work, Janice. Oh, thank you. All right, let's get started. Now let's see if I can get over there myself. Hold on tight, Battle Cat. Don't worry! Have you out of there in a jiffy, Your Highness? Ah, oh, thank you, He-Man. I thought I was never going to get out of here. Now if we can just get back to the castle in time. But I couldn't have done it alone. Janice had some pretty clever ideas. She did? If it weren't for Janice, I'm afraid your father would still be back in Crystal Mountain. Ah, maybe I should ask for your advice a little more often, Janice. And the next time you have anything to tell me, I'm going to listen. And that's a promise.
today's adventure story, Prince Esker made an important discovery. He found out that a good idea could come from many places, <laughs> even from his sister. Know something? When you don't listen, you just might be cheating yourself out of a good idea. Besides, where does it say that big ideas have to come from big people? Give others a chance to share their ideas with you. I promise you'll be glad you did.